Good evening. It's um, Thursday, June 4th, 2009. And um, I wanted to uh, convey my understanding of the monetary system and what I've gathered over the past two years um, in learning about it and um, display, let you know how, what I think of it and, and how I uh, perceive it and understand it. So, to start off, right, um, I'd like to ask you guys a question. What do, what do you think is capital? Okay, so, most of you um, would, would uh, say gold and silver is, or or, or um, this, paper money is, or basically money is capital, but not really. Anything is capital, the truth is. Um, this computer is capital, right? Um, a pen is capital. Uh, you know, uh, cell phones capital. Everything is ca considered capital that that you can use to produce additional wealth or make something else. Now, let me make it simply a little bit more simpler for you. Um, let's just say everybody um, on this planet, um, or in a small island, for example, could, was. Uh, was only able to catch a fish and eat it. One fish a day and eat that fish. They were uh, subsistence living. Basically, they lived off the daily catching of one fish. Now, one of those people on this island decides, hey, you know what, I got an idea. I'm going to make a net. But in order for him to make a net, he can't eat for that one day. So he decides to sacrifice and work and make that net and after he makes a net right he can now catch two fishes in one day instead of one so now what happens is the um, the net becomes capital because now it produces two fishes which is also capital instead of him producing one so obviously he's capital too right but Let's just stay on that uh, point that uh, he's created two fishes now. He can now decide to next day to not fish and just sit down and relax. And uh, then the, the following day catch two fishes as well. So those are that's, that's an example of capital. Right? Now, I've shown you that capital is real things. Now, anything could be money. So money is just something, the best form of money is a stable, valued item. And the best stable, valued item throughout history has been gold and, and silver. Not so much. It's been in and out of, uh, of, of uh, the monetary role. But gold remained the same even up to today. Now... I want to uh, go on to explain um, an example of modern day understand my modern day understanding of our current uh, monetary system uh, when it comes to capital. Now, I work at a job. My particular job is uh, computer programming. So thus, a computer is my capital. Without a computer, I cannot produce the results, uh, which produce gives me money um, to to survive now in the example of Don Harrell who is a day trader he also has capital as well his capital is actual uh, Federal Reserve notes to make him more money for him to survive okay? now this is not any kind of uh, of uh, a statement against Don Harold or anything like that, or, or um, I don't know how he manages his money, but this is my example. If I was Don Harold as a day trader, I'm not a day trader, and I don't, I never will be, never even a swing trader because I, I tried it and it's just the gambling is not my thing. So if I was a day trader, if I decided to become a day trader, I would take my capital, that's my savings, right, to use to uh, day trade, right? That's technically what most people would think to do. 
unfortunately, right? Um, what what you, what you've not realized is that this that all capital, whether it's a computer or it's Federal Reserve notes, dollar paper dollars, right? Depreciate. Computer depreciates, of course, really fast at uh, fifty percent. But um, uh, after the first year, and then 30, 33% after every other year, or something like that. But anyways, whilst this capital depreciates a little bit slower, it averaged, it averaged around 4%, 4, 4 to 5% uh, uh, since uh, the Federal Reserve was uh, came into existence. So you have to take that into account if you're going to take your capital and use it to gamble to get more and more capital. So if you are going to do that, if I, if I was going to do that, instead of taking my capital and using it to gamble, I would create the capital out of nothing because I can't by borrowing it. I would take my real capital, put it all into gold, which is something real, right, and it has stable value, and borrow against that with and take that capital and use it to gamble then at any point in time if this goes to zero I still have my gold and I don't have to worry about it I can trade as much as I want and do the trading if you followed Don Harold you'd make a lot of money trading stocks if you could do that it doesn't not everyone can actually um, trade stocks it's not for everybody but if you can do it I would suggest and you have like twenty five thousand hundred thousand or whatever it is I would suggest you place all that money into gold and borrow against it to trade this way you don't your your capital doesn't depreciate you're paying interest on your capital and you're like well then I'm losing money because I'm paying interest well hold on if you decide to just use your own capital, you notice it's depreciating over a certain period of time. And it's depreciating a lot faster now, a lot faster than 4%. So, if you were to um, uh, uh, just use your own capital, you're losing 10 15% per month, per year. I mean using 15% per year without you noticing it. However, if you were to put it into gold and then use the borrowed money and paid, what is it? What's the interest rates right now? 0%? I mean, you could probably get uh, a, a secured loan with gold. What, what, do you, what do you think you can get? We'd probably get uh, 3%. That's way, way below the interest, the, the inflation rate. So you're sitting pretty. So you can now play the stocks without losing any money. Because the 3%, that's just the cost, that's the depreciation of capital. If you were to use your own. So that's my understanding of the monetary system. I hope I was pretty clear on that. Uh, if you didn't understand any points that I made, just ask me in the comment section. I'd be glad to clarify.